Hi there, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see CSS property called break before. The break before CSS property sets how page, column, or region breaks should behave before a generated box. If there is no generated box, this property will be ignored. So before this video, I have created a similar video for CSS property break after you can visit my channel and this is the video break after CSS property. Okay. So it is very similar to break before with minor difference. Okay. So the CSS break before property will allow or you can say force or prevent breaks in a page media or multi column layouts or regions. So it is very popular in multi column layouts. So when you apply this property to specific element, you are instructing whether to break or prevent breaks between pages, columns or regions. Okay. So there are multiple values possible for break before property. You can say auto avoid always all avoid page page left right recto verso avoid column, column, avoid region or region. So in this video, I will create a simple HTML and will explain how this property works with multi column layout. Okay. So let's open HTML and let's start creating simple HTML. We have one main tag. Typically it main tag is here out of this section you can say or in this section but i will keep it separate so we can understand okay in that we have one article tag and one h2 is heading okay let's give the name is heading and we will have a paragraph and some text okay so you can have this multiple article tags. Let me copy this and paste it multiple times. Okay. So we have this simple structure. Okay. There is no CSS at this moment. So it looks very simple. Okay. So let's go to CSS. Target this main. You can give column width let's say 250 pixel okay or uh, yeah column gap will be 60 pixel and padding fro from all the sides 1.5 yeah. okay. so this is mean css okay so this looks good okay let's give some more css Let's target article. In article, let's give border three pixel dotted red. Okay, so we can see it and padding as one ref for specific article. So now it looks like this. Okay, so let me open and inspect this element. Okay, so here you can see we have multiple article tag here. Okay, and as we have many article tags, once yeah, once we have this limit, then it will break this section. If you do not apply any CSS, it will break this section and it will continue from here. So when you are using any um, layout like you want to open a page in specific window or you are printing this page then this is not good right so in that case what we can do we have this css property break before and let's give the value to column then you can see the difference yep you can see now it looks good Yes, we have this horizontal scroll bar, right? We need to work on this as well. But apart from that, 
we have very good layout right so when it comes to reading or accessibility the user can read this specific article properly so before this property break before property user is not able to read it in a good way yeah you can see it is broken right so in this case it is very useful to use such css okay so this was uh, one use case okay so we can also use one value like break before avoid okay and once we avoid it will it will not add any space before this property before this article okay so in that case what we can do we have another property let me inspect this element okay and let's select this article okay here what we can do here we have given break before avoid and with that property we have one property margin block and let's give it 50 pixel so here let me just copy this and add it here okay so let it get reload yeah so now you can see we have added this space using margin block and and the structure is same it will break this content this article tag from here and it will continue from here but if you use this value break before avoid then you can make it in a correct way you can make sure that we have some space and this is better than before right so let me remove that so we can see the difference so article i am removing this margin block and and you can see now this is correct but it is not readable right so when you want to use break before avoid it will avoid breaking particular article or particular tag okay so once you add this avoid you can use mar margin block and whatever value you want to give here right then it won't continue from the news article but you can make it uh, readable in a more proper way right so this is one another example that you can use okay and about browser support it supports all the browsers except i9 i think we can avoid that we don't uh, need to worry about i9 okay so that was all for this css property break before if you like this video please give me a like if you are new to my channel you can visit my channel there are more than 180 videos uploaded on css html javascript node.js and wordpress okay there are multi multiple playlist based on this node.js tutorial css properties and wordpress as well okay there are few exercise on javascript as well so you can have a look and please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting thanks for watching this video bye